Hello, this is Kurt Thomas from Kurt Thomas Unlimited. I'm here today in the great city of Los Angeles, California. I'm here with the National Black Police Association. I'm going to be sharing with them and speaking to the officers here uh, on a subject that's very near and dear to my heart. The title of this video that you're about to watch is called Balancing the Thin Blue Line. How to balance being a police officer in your personal life. When you watch this video, at the completion of this video, I want you to feel motivated and inspired to say, you know what, it's not enough for me to be uh, to protect and serve my area in the community I work within, but it's also important and vital that I protect and serve my personal life as well. So after watching this video, I hope that you leave with that impression. Thank you. Raise your hand. When different pressures were happening in my life as a trooper, this is how it affected my home. I got home a certain time of night, when I walk in the door, the first person that greeted me at the door, again, I'm walking in full of pressure, full of, of, of the weight of being an officer. <clears throat> Get home, the first person meeting to the door was, yes. yeah, little boy, anybody got any kids? Three years old, coming out the door. Hey, daddy. Hey, hey, daddy, welcome home. Now, this is a kid, he's two and a half, three years old. He doesn't deserve a lot to do, but as soon as I walk in the door, and I've had a long day, I had the pressure of reports getting in, I had the pressure of, of not finding enough cases, the pressure of getting off assignments, different uh, pressure that happened as being an officer, an enforcement officer. Walk past my kid. My son is right here saying, Daddy, welcome home, welcome home, glad you're back. Walk past the same thing. Um, my wife at the time was cooking the food. I mean, it's not what you want to Cooking the food. As she's cooking the food, she said, hey, how was your day? Hmm. I go walk into my room and take off my, my uniform. And every time, every piece of uniform item I'm taking off, I take my Glock off, I'm here and I'm gonna take this today. Take my shirt off, lay it down, I'm about to get right up because of a formal complaint. So I take my shoes off, I'm here. That accident you wrote got kicked back. Different pressure now is on me and I'm in my own home. So now, the atmosphere, I just changed. The energy level, the vibrations, I just changed. As soon as I walk in, I walk in with so much pressure because now I'm an officer and now my, my, my life is unbalanced. My personal life wants to say, hey, I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you made it because you could have got killed. But my, my professional life says, man, I'm not good enough yet. I'm still struggling. So now I'm home, I'm eating, eating dinner with my family. Kids still talking to me. It's like a tunnel vision. It's like, have you ever heard noise after you shoot? You've got to put your ear protection on, and all of a sudden you hear, your hearing goes. So it's almost like people calling you, and you're like, Kurt, 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 I'm talking to you. I'm talking for the whole time. What's going on? Why aren't you talking to me? Oh, why? Go sit down. Like, what are you talking to? You know who you're talking to? Boss! So now I'm taking all my frustration out on my family. My kid is playing around trying to look at TV and trying to do reports at the same time. I'm trying to put in, I gotta get these 10 reports done before the end of the night. As soon as he's done playing around, I'm sit down somewhere. Yeah, that's you, I gotta go sit down somewhere. I Because the balance of my life was the badge. It took too much of my personal life. So now, here I am, a year or two years later, it's served. It's served with divorce letters. I'm about to get divorced. I'm out here protecting the servant, I'm not even serving, protecting my own house. You hear what I'm saying? So now I'm getting served about these small family because now, we all got the shiny cars, got the badges and everything, and we look good in the community, but the home life is jacked up. Jacked up is the people. It's amazing, and, and again, I don't know the type of weight that you have in your personal life that you can say, you know what, Kurt, I got this going on, this going on, give me a uh, law for an officer to bring this much weight. But the family, man, that's kind of helps you be balanced. Helps you be balanced. And so I got divorced. Not only did I get divorced, we were pregnant with my second son. So now I'm getting divorced while my wife is pregnant. Can you imagine that? If a lady divorces you while she's pregnant, you do some crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you do some crazy stuff, man. To the point where she said, you know what? I'm sick of you coming in here every single day, not showing me any affection. Every time you yell at me, you can't talk like this. You got to talk and yell at me. So now you're not talking with me, man. You're talking at me. 
I don't want something around this. So now the badge is taking too much. I'm letting, I'm treating this thing over here on my scale as it's more important than what's important in my life. Because some of you know your badge can you know, come or go, but there's people in your life, it's kind of like, I should break the butter. That's what happened to me. Got divorced. When I got divorced, it was a serious breakup call. Like, hold on, wait a minute. If I get this report, and I understand professionally, but if I don't get this report in tonight by 8 o'clock, or my kid needs me, is it worth me losing time with my son just to make somebody else happy? Mm -hmm. Hey, you got your license and registration issue with you, sir? Sir, what's the issue? Was I speaking or something? You're damn right you were speaking. That's what he never says in 45 years of living. Okay. All right. Uh, what you're reaching your pocket for? You got a gun or something? Let me know now. This is not the day. I promise you. Give, give me your license and registration and insurance. Uh, you don't got to yell at me. I mean, what's the problem? Reaching to get the license and registration and insurance. Give it to me. This person comes back and says, 45 miles per hour. You didn't see the sign that said 45. I'll be right back. Comes back, this person gets a huge ticket for going five miles, first experience, five miles per hour with speed limit, all because of the phone call. The phone call. Alright, I can take a second. Well, she wanted to talk to you to give you a word of encouragement <laughs> while you're working. But your radio station was on like two pop, two chains. <laughs> 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 illustration I just told you about one, finances, and two, depression. Man, it's nothing like having a hobby. You arrest everybody, and you're all happy at the job, and you're at home. Nobody knows if you're as quiet as you can be. Walk in the house, TV on you, cut on you. don't even sleep through this insomnia all night long. How long have you ever had that happen to you before? You're doing everything good at the job, you're productive, but yet your life is weighing you down because you're unproductive or you're unbalanced. Anybody ever had that happen to you before? My lights off, I don't got food to eat. Well, yeah, I might hate having people. Anybody got anything to uh, elaborate on that? I know that was a deep moment right now. <laughs> and so, uh, things we can get on the readout because I know it's kind of small. This is just an idea. It's not the answer to everything. But the first thing I had to do when I realized my life was unbalanced, man, I had to admit it. I had to admit I got a problem. I got an issue going on. I could admit it to everybody. But I had to come to myself and, and admit I had issues going on. And I was unbalanced. All right? Exactly. Five stages of it's the same thing. The first time, denial. Man, nothing wrong with me. I'm good. Y'all balanced. Man, I'm good. I don't need no help. What are you sending me to the damn chaplain for? I'm good. I don't need no help. Don't, don't come to my house. I'm good. And a denial stage. That person may have something going on. They get that emotional. Might be protecting something. Second one, anger. Always angry. If a man my kids said think about a supervisor. Just angry about something. It's likely to be unbalanced. Bargain. And if I could just get through the day, <laughs> I might be alright. I might do the same thing again tomorrow, but if I can just get through the day, maybe things will change. And open up the door and go into your own house. And we leave her from home. For getting the patrol car, when you shut that door, this an advice: leave it at the house, the best you can. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, my name is Kirk Thomas. Thank you for your time. Again.